Hello everyone, in our last video we... Um, it, the algorithm kinda died. Well, well, there's not only that problem and this other problem is also quite severe since we don't have any idea on what content we should make. So in this video we decide to take the risk of everybody hating us, well, me because this is my idea, Yangu's idea, that um, to compare which is a better character, Ganyi or Ayaka. Well, I'm pretty sure most of you are already like, oh, it's clear which is better, it's Ganyu, right? Well, in this video, we will be showing you guys on a more or less the same build ratio and how good their builds are, and talent levels are also more or less the same, and we will show them to you guys and see which one is better with proof, with actual proof. But before starting, I would like to state several things in case well, the build is not exactly the same, and it's not 100% equal. Both have their downsides and also their advantages on each character. Like, for example, here in this video, I'll be using Mount Ganyu, and I will be used, and for Ayaka, I will be using Freeze. As for Freeze, you'll be able to get an additional, at most, 40% crit rate, and for Ganyu, there is no addition for crit rate. Uh, well, it's from her passive, but, well, you get my point. Okay, pause the video. Um, I'm pretty sure I should say this, this video is unscripted, and the point of that is I'm trying to train myself in order to speak without a script and also train on my English, since as you know I'm not, English, uh, I'm not American, I'm Indonesian, and <laughs> I'm not very good with English. And I'm pretty sure with videos that are unscripted, it will be way more efficient for content creating, and I would like to train myself for that. So. I hope you can excuse me if I say something wrong or I forgot to say something and there's going to be like, I don't know, <laughs> a college essay down in the pinned comments. But well, um, I'll just hope you enjoy the video. The reason I choose Smelt for Ganyu is I wanted to pull the max damage output from her even though it's harder to use and well, we, we, um, we, don't, we didn't take that much runs in these boss fights and also abyss runs. We just take them the most realistic we can. We take like at least uh, around three tries each and pick the best one. And so, I hope you guys won't get angry about the results or anything like that. Or if you have different opinions, you can feel free com to comment it down below. But please remember, be nice and also respectful. We're also human and we make mistakes. And now I will be going into their builds and tell you guys what are their what are their downsides in their. Um, in each of their builds and also their advantages. Let's start with Ayaka. Ayaka here will be using the 4-piece Blizzard Strayer, which gives her an advantage of having more crit rate. So, it is safe to stack as much as crit damage as possible. And especially on a freeze comp, Ayaka here will thrive and deal a lot of damage. And Ayaka here will be using the Black Sword, which gives her a little bit of advantage since the passive is always on. And I'll tell you this now, she is not over critting since, well, my crit rate on Ayaka is horrible. <laughs> but with the Black Sword, it's able to be pushed into, I think, around 46%, and you can just see the ratio on screen. And it's going to be more or less the same with Ganyu. And next, um, we have, well, this is quite big of a difference. Ganyu here has Constellation 1, and Ayaka here will have Constellation 0. And also her talents will be on 9, 8, 9. And next we're gonna be talking about Ganyu. She will be using the Blizzard plus Gladiator set since that is currently the best set for Melt. And she will be using the Prototype Crescent which is a little bit on a disadvantage against bosses. But we should also keep in mind Ayaka cannot freeze bosses. That means she has a disadvantage too. So it's more or less in the equal standing. Well, the only difference is Black Sword is able to buff um, Ayaka's charge attack and basic attack, yet the Prototype Crescent's passive is going to be off the whole way on the boss fights. And next, this is quite a big factor that I was lucky enough to get Constellation 1 Ganyu really early on. So, well, well even if um, Ganyu has Constellation 1, my Ayaka ratio is just a little bit better with more crit damage and also crit rate um, through the Blizzard Trader set. 
And as for Ganyu's talents, it's gonna be 10, 7, 8, which is higher than Ayaka's, but Ayaka's um, elemental skill and burst still does more damage because it's higher level. But if you think about it, it's more or less in the same and equal standing because both of these sides have like a very critical downside, yet they also have massive advantages. With all of that said, um, again, I will say this, I might miss several details, and if you do um, spot several details that I missed, just don't hesitate to comment it down below, but please, <laughs> please be nice. <laughs> oh god, I'm taking such a big risk making this video. <laughs> well, suffer with no content, I guess. Ah, oh, right, right. And also, I forgot to mention this, that Ganyu's Goblet is going to change. Um, so we're gonna do three runs. First is gonna be the Pyre Regis Fine, second is the Geovish App, and the third is the 12th One Abyss Run. And in the Pyre Regis Fine run, we're going to be using a crit damage based um, circlet to just increase Ganyu's damage to its max potential. And it's a goblet that balances both her crit rate and crit damage better than the other goblet. But for the Geovish App run, we're going to be using a full party where Ganyu is gonna have to melt. But there is one problem, which is her EM is on zero, which is why we're going to be switching the goblet and reduce the crit rate, but we're gonna get, I think it was 58 elemental mastery. Okay, with all of that said, let's just get right into the competition. Our first victim here will be the Pyre Regis Fine. Um, he is a very common test subject, and today we're going to bully him again. Keep in mind that um, all of these runs are not perfect. We're going to focus on um, the runs being casual and also realistic. We did take a couple of tries, but yeah, you get our point. <laughs> Anyways, in this Pyre Regis Fine run, Ayaka is able to destroy. She's her burst damage is just way too insane for Ganyu to parry. But we should remember, we should keep in mind that this is only a one cycle burst. Because the Pyre Regis Fine, our poor, our poor little plant, dies really quickly. And now as we move on to the other runs, we're going to be giving them a full team. For Ayaka, we have Singchu, Ganyu, and Bennett, and for Ganyu we have Venti, um, Bennett, and Xiang Ling. We should keep in mind that Ganyu here do have double pyre resonance. In this run, again, we're gonna be changing Ganyu's goblet into the goblet with elemental mastery. Well, it's less crit rate, but it still does have elemental mastery. And wow, just wow, the results really surprised me. At first, when I saw Ayaka's damage getting unleashed from her burst and her charge attack and everything, her elemental skill, buffing herself and all, she does insane damage. And she reduces the lizard's health, like it drains really quickly in the matter of seconds. But right after her burst ends and her buff also ends, she needs to wait for her elemental skill to get back in order to buff herself for her charge attacks. And this is where Ayaka slows down by a ton. She slows down a lot. Which is um, Ayaka's disadvantage. And then we have Ganyu. Ganyu... I don't know. She's just... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just speechless. Ganyu's run is just consistently insane. 
her damage was never reduced and her melt, well, it is reduced from her melt elemental reaction to her normal charge attacks, but it's not even by a lot. She's able to dish out burst damage each shot, just like Ayaka with her burst and her charge attack, and also drains the lizard's HP really quickly. And then, even when the melt phase ends and her uh, and her burst is also out, Ganyu here is still able to deal a lot of damage, which is where Ganyu tries and beat Ayaka in this run. But in both of these runs, there is actually a disadvantage for Ayaka, where Ayaka cannot freeze them, they are bosses, so she doesn't have the 40% bonus, which is where we're gonna take both of them into the abyss with the best team possible that I have. Well, maybe there are some other characters that might be better, but these are the characters I have built. And they're not even good builds, the only one built is just the DPS. Again, it's a very similar situation to the Geovish app. Ayaka here is able to do insane damage. It's insane. The time, uh, I don't know, the time duration of doing this floor is just really quick and I just have nothing to say but Ayaka is really strong. But then, there is Ganyu. <laughs> Again, Ganyu here is able to destroy this run and significantly beat it faster than Ayaka. Well, this might be due to double pyro, since Ganyu does have double pyro um, resonance, which is where the run's going to be a little inconsistent. Well, it's the same as the Geovichep run, both did really well and Ganyu won, but I took longer, uh, we took longer taking place for Ganyu than for Ayaka, because Ganyu keeps getting hit and cancelled and I don't know, <laughs> you get my point. So in terms of damage, for sure Ganyu is the winner, she's just way too insane, especially with Melt, it's... <laughs> While Ayaka here is really good on one cycle runs where she puts out a burst, do charge attack, freeze, and she will do insane damage. But we shouldn't forget an important factor in the abyss, which is shield breaking. And with this, we're gonna be taking them both again to the abyss, but this time on the floor 10-1 on part 2 where, they, where we have the Abyss Herald with the Hydro Shield because well we're too lazy to go to 12-3 again um, <laughs> well, well we're still gonna be able to, con uh, to compare anyways With the results, Ayaka here is able to significantly break the shield faster than Ganyu, since Ayaka's burst slashes really quickly while Ganyu's burst is a little bit more scattered. So in terms of shield breaking, Ayaka will be the better choice, but we should also remember that enemies can kinda jump out of um, Ayaka's burst, but as for Abyss, um, Abyss Herald or at least in a freeze comp, when the enemies are frozen they won't be able to go out. And so, Ayaka here is able to land all of her hits and be able to do it faster than Ganyu. But we should also talk about the Abyss Lactor that we're too lazy to get the clip for. And again, Ayaka here is able to win, since the Abyss Lactor doesn't move that much. And so, that is a massive advantage for Ayaka to break the shield really quickly rather than Ganyu. With all of that said, now it's time to get to my conclusion. Well, over here, in terms of DPS, Ganyu kinda wins by just slightly, it's not too far, it's more like this. 
Ganyu is way more consistent in Ayaka since Ayaka do have some kind of downtime where her ability is in cooldown so she cannot buff herself. But Ayaka is going to be able to um, unleash more damage in one cycle with her burst, charge attack, and elemental skill while buffing herself and also freezing enemies. In terms of convenience, um, Ayaka here is a little bit more convenient to use as she can dodge really well due to her kit. And her charge attack, her attack speed is also quite fast. And for me, um, I can do some kind of eye framing with Ayaka's sprint, which, well, a lot of people are annoyed by her sprint, but I personally think it's amazing. Only when there's a pebble on the way, when she gets stuck. <laughs> As for Ganyu, she does have a very, very good kit, but the only problem is she gets hits a lot. I, and what I mean by that is it takes around two to three seconds to charge up a to charge up a, um, a charge level to attack. And in those time, you you gotta have to protect Ganyu or make sure that she's in a safe distance or not just going to get staggered. Which <laughs> I just find really annoying when using her. In terms of building the character, Freeze Ayaka is definitely easier to build due to the crit rate buff given from the Forpiss Blizzard Trayer. And this allows her to stack up on crit damage as much as you want. As for Ganyu, um, in this video we're using Ganyu, uh, Amelt Ganyu, which is very very hard to build. Even I don't have the Wanderer set, which is currently the best in slot artifact for Amelt Ganyu. But in her passive, after Ganyu blooms once, her next bloom will um, get, increased, um, get some kind of increased crit rate, which also makes her convenient to build, but we shouldn't really rely on that and we need to at least have a decent amount of crit rate in Ganyu's build. As for how versatile they are, Ganyu and Ayaka are extremely versatile. They can play the, both the role of support and also DPS. Ganyu here can buff with her elemental burst as well as dish out a lot of damage. And she can be partnered with just anyone, even with Ayaka. And that also goes the same with Ayaka, since Ayaka's burst not only puts out a lot of damage, but she can also use that to proc Cryo for a higher DPS. And not only that, she can also be paired with someone like Ganyu. So both are really amazing characters in terms of how versatile they are. And they can even support both, um, they can even support each other in one team which, as you can see in my Ayaka run for the Geovisha, we do have Ganyu there to and just look at how they perform, <laughs> it's insane. So overall, I think both are just amazing and um, they do have their own downsides and also advantages. In terms of DPS and damage output, Ganyu here will be taking the win, but not um, by far. Ayaka here is also able to dish out a lot of damage, but again, she needs to be switched out of the field sometimes if her elemental skill is on cooldown and she's not buffed. But in terms of how convenient both of these characters are, personally I think Ayaka is more convenient to use and well, overall Ayaka is just more, how do I say this, she's just more um, fast and agile, yes that's the word. Ayaka is very agile in her kit, she can dodge really well too, unlike Ganyu who needs to um, take her time to charge up her tech, so it's more like a high risk high reward kind of thing for Ganyu. But for Ayaka, she doesn't really need too much of a risk to dish out as much damage as she can, but all you need to do is make sure that the enemies are going to stay on their spot. And yes, there are several speculations that Ganyu's rerun will be right around the corner. And you might be confused on who to pull for. Well, in my personal opinion, it is just both are really amazing characters. I am just saying this over and over and over again because that's just how it is. So, in my opinion, it's best to focus on their playstyle, on which would you like more, would you like to be in close quarter combat, or you gotta stay back and shoot with your bow. It's just, um, it's really just based on your preferences, or maybe once more wife than the other, I don't know. But yes, I think that is the most important in considering on which to pull. But just one more thing that you should keep in mind, both of these rounds just they're very close to each other in terms of time. And over here, Ganyu do have C1, and Ayaka do not have any constellations. And Ganyu's charge attack is already level 10, yet Ayaka is not. But we should also remember that Ayaka's burst and elemental skill is higher level than Ganyu's, and Ayaka's black sword um, 
Blackstar passive is always on in the bosses in the boss runs, but in the abyss, both weapons uh, both weapons passive are active. In this video, it's not really 100% on equal standings, but I can 100% conclude that both DPS are really not too far from each other. But in terms of constellations, I do think Ganyu on C6 will do so much better than Ayaka. Well, <laughs> just look at her. Look at her constellations. It's I don't know. It's just unex. <laughs> it's just too crazy. That's the end of the video. I hope you'll be um, you'll be able to decide now who to roll, either Ayaka now or just Ganyu for later. And if you do find this video helpful or resourceful at any point, please consider liking this video, sharing it, and also subscribing, as that will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Discord server will also be down below in the description if you want to just um, chill and chat with us. And with that said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!